guys, it's Thasnia. So as you saw from the title, today I wanted to give all the college peeps out there some non-generic advice that I wish I knew when I was walking into my freshman year. So most of my high school friends are gone now and you know, I always thought that I had one of those special friendships that was gonna last through college and here I am one year into college and most of them are gone. So if you also happen to think that your friendships are gonna last through college, that's great. You know, I hope that works for you, but in the case that it doesn't, understand that like, you don't have to let your world collapse if this friendship ends. Obviously, there's so much more to life than your relationship with that person. Sometimes we lose friends and it's not even personal. Sometimes we lose them just because of distance or because we are growing apart to be different people. And that's totally fine. You have to learn to be fine with that. So if you're noticing your friendship is starting to look that way then it's probably because the person doesn't really care to maintain the friendship and that would be the best time for you to leave because the friends that are really meant to be in your life come naturally and stay naturally so i want you to learn to be okay with that as it took me a long time to learn that myself all of this also applies to relationships my next advice is about being alone now something that took me forever to understand is that loneliness is sad but being alone is not only important, but empowering. Choosing to be alone means that you value your own company and you're not gonna depend on other people to make you happy at the end of the day. Being alone in college was torture for me. As an extrovert, I really had a hard time going to clubs, events, class, or just going out for lunch alone all by myself all the time. It was lonely, but I realized after a while that I didn't have to look at that lack of company in such a negative connotation. I should have looked at it as being alone and being alone in a good way. As in, I have all this time to myself, my priorities, my opportunities, my desires, all sorts of things. And the reality is we can't control when people come and go but we can control what we're gonna do in the meantime when they're not around. And you can choose to make the most out of your alone time rather than gloating and desperately trying to find someone to attach ourselves to. For example, I'm talking about when people date people just to date people. Now there's nothing wrong with that unless you are really dating this person just to say, yes, I have them, they're mine, they're mine when I want Starbucks, when I want intimacy, when I want someone to post an Instagram post with, but we have no connection and it makes me feel really lonely. I think it's um, society's fault that we have this misconception that being in a relationship, it just kind of cures loneliness, but it actually ends up making us feel more empty on the inside because it's not about attaching yourself to someone, it's about connection. And so dating just to date can feel quite impersonal. Even if you have 20 friends, one boyfriend, and one side chick, spending time with yourself and learning to enjoy your own company is gonna help you become independent. And please note that independence is vital, even relationships. And that's because you don't wanna rely on your sweet cheeks to fill your world with sunshine. And as Christina Yang said, he is very dreamy, but he is not the sun, you are. My next piece of advice connects with the first two points, and that is don't wait to do things only if your friend does it too. So the whole I'll only do it if she does thing, it's kind of a really toxic concept if that really is the only time that you make decisions. Because saying that once in a while can be harmless and fun, but depending on your friends to kind of run your life and run your decisions can become so problematic because it's going to get in the way of your identity, your independence, and your opportunities. As a result of depending on friends too much, we start to feel less capable and more insecure to make our own decisions. It becomes a second nature that we really can't do anything, we can't even go to the bathroom unless they come with us. But growing up as adults, we just can't grow up like that. It's it's not good for us. So my point here is to join clubs, go to events, go to class, go to extra help when you literally need to, do all of that, and even talk to random people in class if your friend hasn't arrived yet. Do it all without your friend being there because you don't need them to be there. If you want them to be there, they can be there, but you don't want to need them to be there, if that makes sense. College is exactly when you should start to become your own person. You should absolutely do things even if they can't make it or if they don't want to. My very last tip is to be independent of your friends and keep friends that are independent of you. What I mean by that is you don't wanna keep friends that rely on you too much because it's just not 
supposed to be that way. And that's because we have to be confident in ourselves, responsible for ourselves, sticking by our own values, and then going to our friends for support, for fun, for exchanging of ideas, for help, and all those other good things. But if you keep friends that push your boundaries, they're probably going to hold you back from your own priorities and probably cause you a lot of distress and drama. I've been the friend that bothered my friends too much about my life, and I've had friends that have bothered me too much about theirs. And I can say that being on both positions, it doesn't benefit anybody. So just make sure not to get in that habit anymore when you walk into college and not to stick by friends that use you that much because really you don't deserve that. So that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found any value, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to drop down any non-generic advice that you have for freshmen as well, or if you have any questions about the freshman experience. I hope you have a nice day and I wish you good luck in your first year. Bye.